guys, today I want to show you my workflow. This is specific to those files you shot with your GoPro in the ProTune modes. And what I'm gonna be using is GoPro Studio, Final Cut Pro and Compressor. First you have to select your file. I put it just on the desktop, like a thousand other files. Um, blah, blah, bloop. Ah, here. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So I import it like that. Then I select it. Advanced settings. And since I'm using ProTune, I always want to go with the highest settings I can select. Uh, I will also select this one. Well, not necessary. Um, at first, I will leave it at uh, 5994 frames per second but for exporting to YouTube for now I know they are working on uh, supporting 60 frames per second but for now they only support 30 so it's better to export in 30 frames so I will just go ahead like that I click the conversation list converse convert and now we have to wait so I will speed this up blah, 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 blah. So now it's finished, we can proceed to step two. I can cancel that. Now I select this. It should automatically select ProTune, but you never know, so let's check. ProTune, yeah, same. And then, because I don't want to edit it in GoPro Studio, We'll export it and let's name it uh, ProTune ProTune Flip because I'm flipping my F450. And let's check. We still want to maintain our frame rate, the highest quality possible. And since Final Cut will handle that perfectly. We will select GoPro Cineform. Resolution is fine. And export. And hitting export. And it will take once again an enormous amount of time. So it's finished now. So I can close this. Um, I don't want to save that settings. And now we have here this file. It's 8.61 gigs. And the file that came out of the GoPro was 1.54. So don't be surprised that the size increases. Let's start up Final Cut Pro. That will take some time. I'm running version 10.1.2. I'm not sure which version I'm running from compressor, but it's pretty new, I think. So um, now I will go ahead and import the file we just created. It's on the desktop and it's blah, blah, blah. Protune flip. Okay. I always copy the files to my library. Uh, fine text, I don't care, but I just leave it like that. And go back to the that's right. <laughs> I know I wasn't flying FPV this time, but since I'm um, having the GoPro mounted on my F450 and this is my um, FPV equipped quad, um, yeah, I'll we'll just put it there. And we are almost done. And we're done. Okay. So let's make a new project. Um, normally I select the custom one here. In this case, you could just set it to default and it will detect your first clip you put in there. Um, Pro tune flip work. Um, I will change it to 
29.97 so don't forget about it in the end so let's find the clip should be around here there it is protein flip and you can see here it's already so nicely exposed normally I would um, go here and adjust the exposure and the blacks the whites and even the saturation because protein is so flat but if you go through the GoPro studio app it will all already look quite nice so even if you're zooming in you can see there is so much detail it's already sharpened I think and the contrast is increased I will still add a little bit of sharpening so like one normally I would go with 2.5 and crisp and contrast also 2.5 but since I'm using the Protune preset on the GoPro Studio app, I don't need that. And to speed this up, I will cut right to the part here. So the fans are spinning quite fast now, so I hope it's not that much. Just like here. I'll go back to fit. And the second flip, and then it's returned to home, so I will just yeah, let it swipe and then end it here. So I think it's enough of editing. Okay, so I will just let it render. So we are done. So that's fine. So now we'll send it to compressor. And to do that, you have to select it first. I'm always missing that. Send to compressor. And compressor will boot up 4.1.2. There you have it. So minimize that for now. And I, I'm not sure you can hear this, but it's pretty insane. I think it's because of screen record. Well, never mind. So now I will add an export setting. I have some custom mates, but that's pretty not much not necessary. You can just select HD 1080p. It's really good in my opinion. I always select desktop because to upload them and then I will delete them so I can also put them on a desktop. So let's check the settings here. So we already changed the frame rate to 29.97. I have to be honest I normally don't change anything around here. This is pretty nice I think. So I'll just leave it like that. That's fine, resolution is fine, and frame rate is fine. And yeah, start batch. So we'll start the process. So now it's finished. And let's check it out. I think it's this one. I think it looks pretty decent, huh? So the tricky part is now <laughs> get it to YouTube with the same kind of quality and I have to disappoint you. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. But I think with this way it will look quite decent and to show you that I will upload that now. Let's 
let's do so. And that's it. So it's now 114.3 megabytes. Uh, let's name this work workflow salt. Um, I'm pretty sure I will change the name, but I will link it to this tutorial. So let's check it out. Switching. Let's have a look. The part I'm worried about is the fast movement, but I think it worked quite well. Let's check out the number flip. that's pretty good it's not it's not hundred percent chart when the movement starts to increase but I'm here with it and I hope this helped you so let's fly home keep in mind this is just my way and I think it's a pretty good way and it's very time effective in my opinion so I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any further questions, feel free to put them down in the comments below and I will try to answer them as soon and as good as I can. And feel free to put your uploads down in the comments as well. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.